Uh, my name is Thibaut, I'm 31 years old and I go by the name Breakboard. I come from Paris. I thought I had it all together, but I was led astray the day you walked away. You were the clock that was ticking in my heart. Change my state of mind, but love so hard to find. I studied a MySpace page on, in 2000, 2005. I wasn't signed to a label at first, so you know I was just doing my, my stuff through MySpace and stuff. And, I, and one day I, I went to an agent and said, like, yeah, would you take care of me and stuff? And he said, like, yeah, why not? Then I got signed to, to Headbanger. And Headbanger Records is a label created by Pedro Winter, also named as a BCP. He started the label in 2003 uh, with a record by Mr. Flash. And then he added, like, uh, on. Uh, quickly after that, I did like Justice and other acts on the on the roster. You know, Baby Amuse has has been like a slow, um, how do you say, like a slow grower. Or... I released the song like uh, three years ago, and people are still discovering it uh, right now. And I think it's really cool. You know, like we enjoy uh, traveling around and having people discovering the, the, the music. Yeah, yeah, that's why I began uh, DJing. You know, in uh, other ground clubs. Well, you know, I'm, I'm pretty shy, so I always get like you know very nervous before going on stage. But once I'm here, I enjoy it. Like I enjoy it a lot. Like you know, playing music, sharing it with people. The scene here is really big. You know, it's not, nothing compared to Paris. Paris is a, like a village. You know, everybody knows each other. It's, it's very small and and uh, pretty quiet actually. Whether like here, I have the feeling that there's so much things happening all the time. You know, it's always. Uh, something new and everything, so yeah, I guess it's pretty different from, from this point of view. And also from the music, you guys are mo more like into indie rock and indie stuff, and I guess the stuff we are good at in France, more like electronic and techno and, and, and stuff like that. I did like 30 remixes, or maybe more, for other people, like Metronomy, Justice, Light of the Pier, uh, uh, Rock Sub, many, uh, Sebastian Tele, many acts. And uh, yeah, I incorporate those stuff in, in my live show as well. Because I think it's also my, you know, when you do a remix, it, beca it becomes also your music. I, th I think it was a good school, you know, or a good uh, way to find the sound uh, I wanted to create, you know, making all these uh, remixes. And uh, I guess Baby Amours is just like, um, yeah, it's probably the essence of what I was looking for, you know, the sound I was looking for. It's a mix of like, uh, uh, modern pop and also like uh, old school uh, influences like uh, funk, 80s funk and and uh, 70s disco. And uh, because I was already uh, I, I was always influenced by by this old school uh, stuff. And I just tried to to mix all these um, modern things and and old school things together. Well, there's also a lot of influences from like uh, old Californian pop, like uh, you know, like Holy Notes, uh, the Eagles, the Beach Boys, lots of uh, voc vocal uh, stuff. I'm really into like uh, vocal pop. I'm, I don't know how to sing myself, um, but uh, yeah, I love uh, I love the the emotion that the the voice can can bring to the to the music, and. Um, I don't know why I'm, I'm so into like all these, you know, but yeah, for some reason I've, I've always been and um, yeah. It's not that I don't like today's pop, but I, th I feel it's not um, as risky as uh, it used to be. Like people in the major, major companies, they, they used to take more risks uh, at the time. Now it's all about like, you know, having the, the quick uh, money. And it's fine by me, you know, but it's not the, the, maybe not the music I listen to. Well, I used to be a big fan of Michael Jackson, of course. Like I had like posters of Michael all around my my bedroom. I used to be a big fan of Prince, Stevie Wonder, and, and yeah. Um, my my older brothers had had lots of records at home, and, and I used to spend a lot of, lots of times in in their bedrooms listening to their to their records and, and dancing around. It was a fun time. I'm such a good dancer, and I will show you my moves later. Um, I like making mixtape because I, it's it always like uh, it's important to you know to get in the mood when you when you do a track and all that and the mixtapes are very really good for that like they put you in a certain mood you, you look for for certain sounds in, in in your record collections and you feel like ah oh, this is this is a nice loop this is a nice uh, this is a nice beat I could maybe uh, get an influence from that or maybe I could just like uh, copy it you know 
And yeah, I think it's, it's really important to have like a, some kind of uh, of back, material background, you know. And yeah, it's, I get really influenced by by all the all my record collection and and putting a mixtape together. It's like um, yeah, it's like a, I don't know how to say it in English, but I think it's really important to just to get in the mood to make music, you know, to to know what you're gonna do after that. The meeting with your fan was also a very um, important for the for that track because. It, He's like the lead singer, he made the, the lyrics and everything. Um, we met like four years ago, just before uh, the Baby I'm Yours uh, song, and, um, and we met through a mutual friend, he was already singing, uh, you know, in, a, in this project, and he, he made a song with a friend of mine, and I was like, wow, this, this voice is pretty amazing. So when I met him, uh, I instantly asked him if he wanted to work with me, and then we became friends really fast because we have the same influences, we listen to the same records and stuff. We are even thinking to start like a proper band together, like because you know for for now it's like Breakboat featuring Yafan, which is not like really sexy as a as a name like this. So we are thinking about yeah having a proper band together with some uh, musicians and stuff, and and yeah maybe start a new project together because it's so fun to to tour with him and work with him. Well, yeah, I've always been a big fan of cartoons and uh, animations since I'm a kid. I, w I wanted to work at Disney Studios when I was uh, like 12, year 12 years old. So I made studies um, in that field and I was mu making music at the, you know, at, at, at night when I went, when I got back home to just to relax. Yeah, I think it's for me graphics are really important in music because uh, you know it helps you with the videos, the the, the covers, all the all the graphic aspects. I think it's really important for electronic music right now to people remember you better if you have like a strong image, you know. And my friends from, from Justice uh, taught me that pretty well, you know, and from Daft Punk. I, I don't know Daft Punk pretty well, but I know the Justice guys and, and I know they were um, putting really much importance into into the graphic uh, universe they were creating. And I, and I think they were really right about that because it's, it's, it's really powerful, you know, and, and uh, and people rem remember them with the cross, you know, the, the dark uh, rock uh, style, you know. And yeah, I think it's really important nowadays. Uh, it's a very simple setup actually. I, I just like uh, have a you know a laptop with a controller and and a mid and a keyboard, you know, so I can play some some keys. And right now I'm touring with Irfan, which is the singer on five tracks on the album, and he comes to sing the, the tracks. But we are thinking about like doing something more with like more like uh, more musicians and stuff. Uh, we have a LED screen with uh, lots of uh, animations that are like synced to the to the music, and we worked really hard on the on the visual aspect of, of all that. So we have like a, a huge uh, women lips on the on, on front make it like sexy. I worked with uh, two friends of mine called uh, Clément and Camille. They, they did all the, the animations uh, you, see, you see on the background. We were trying to, to, to make something like more abstract, you know, like more uh, with a, that creates a mood, but it's not like um, telling a proper story or telling a, a proper uh, thing, you know, it's just like abstract uh, animations that try to get the mood of, of the music at, at that moment. And we tried to, to make some uh, synchronized uh, things between them. The, the, choc the, the album cover is a chocolate uh, square, so we thought why not making, making the record out of the chocolate, and we didn't know if it was possible. And we made some, some research and we found out that they've been making them since like 100 years. So we thought like, why not uh, doing it? Well, the sound quality is not that good, you know, as you can imagine, and, and after three, three times uh, you played it, it's pretty, it's pretty much fucked. You have to, to eat it then. But uh, yeah, just like uh, I think it was a good uh, marketing idea, you know, to have a chocolate record. Yeah, I've got two in my fridge. Yeah, it's all about fun, man. Fun and love and happiness. And dancing, right? And dancing, of course. I am Breakbot and my album is called By Your Side and please buy it so I can buy some new clothes, please.